Ah, oh, welcome back to CK2. There's just something absolutely hilarious about Barrow being spread across the map like that. I'm oh, sorry, welcome back to the invention of the extremely normal man. I was literally doing my audio setup and noticed that, and it's just too fucking good not to leave in. Okay, so, I mean, what were we doing? Oh, that's it, the Golden Bloodline. Right, right, right. So, what we're going to do with the next character, with, with the lovely Joris Bonser's next golden boy son, perfectly normal son, he is going to try and forge the Golden Bloodline. Boris, J Joris became aware of, of the, the rumours among the society of, of the Golden Bloodline, but of course Joris himself had no clue of, of such a thing before he was, you know, by the, by the time he found out about it, he was too old. He found it in an old document, high up on the shelves of the Trade League, and had no clue that such a thing is possible. But these are secrets that we know and can now pass down to our glorious son, who is going to be the one to forge the Golden Bloodline. That's his personal mission in his life. Joris, all he wanted to do, build up a build up a big amount of gold and, and expand his influence across the world. He was a greedy, he was a greedy, lustful man. My god, he's done it. He can rest easy when that time comes, which hopefully there'll be many, many more happy years for lovely Joris Bonson. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, well. There we go. <laughs> Joris has ascended to heaven at the age of 60. That was honestly, I was like, damn it, I forgot to set a minor titles before we started. I better do that quickly. A little bit of t time tick. Nope, he's just fucking dead. He died a natural death, having been horribly disfigured. Joris spent his last years unable to show his face in public. Death has finally freed his soul from his crippled body. Oh god, that's really tragic. That's really tragic now. My god, poor Joris Bonson. Gone, but never ever forgotten. The first of many great men. A glorious man with a mighty intellect and a mighty arm. Now, of course, we play as Gummy. Gummy Bonson, blessed with the awesome knowledge of all things between heaven and earth. Gummy Bonson's rule is sure to be legendary. Long live Nagapo Gummy. 21 years of age. He has genius. He has just. Oh my god, he's ambitious too, and oh my god, I forgot how good this guy was. Do we lose anything? We've got the... We've still got to build a well. Still got the important documents. Give us two chip plus one. We've got the caravan. Nice work. Let's immediately... My man wants to stop being greedy. <sighs> I mean, he wanted to stop. Maybe he was like, you know what? My father, he's too greedy. He sits in his room all the time. Won't even show his face in public anymore after his horrible disfigurement. I need to, I need to change my ways. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Gummy, you're now in charge of the realm. Say no more. So, oh, he's already a trader in the great... What, what the hell are you doing, my man? Doesn't want to be greedy, but also what is, is more than happy to be part of the trade league. I'm not so sure about that one, Chief. So, let's... Oh, repay the loan. Oh my god, I took a huge debt out, didn't I? To pay for all those goddamn troops. Oh, for the love of god. We'll deal with that as well at some stage today, I guess. We can probably make enough money to deal with that. We've got to tidy up Joris Bonson's mistakes. But we've, got, we've still got our, our big old round. Okay, it's a type of tributary that doesn't shatter on the death of the ruler. So we've got a, a still a nice croissant-shaped realm. We've got a mountain of cash that's probably coming in too now. 12.5 gold. I don't think that's adjusted since since Joris. So it might take a while to get back up to that. Business focus? I think the business focus. Try and pay off some of these debts to start off with. And let's make sure the council's up to uh, up to a decent state. I can't believe that Giagar is still around. My god. I feel like it was ages ago we hired this guy. So who do we want to name court physician? I mean, I trust this fella. He, he, he likes us somewhat. Doesn't like the fact that we owe money lenders a huge debt and definitely doesn't like the fact we're a trader. But hey, I mean, what more can we do? Do you think... What do you think? Do you, do you think that Joris Bonson reached Nirvana, the highest form of... Uh, the highest form of, of, of sort of Buddhism, the highest form of... Uh, it's not reincarnation. I don't really know how to describe it. That is the highest level, right? I don't remember. It doesn't matter too much. Do you think he, do you think he achieved it? Through enlightenment, almost certainly not. He was a bit of a he was a bit of a shithead. I'll be honest, a bit of a, bit of a terrible person. Okay, um, we can use our goods. We can contact the affiliated affiliated artisans. So one of the actual requirements for the bloodline was to find a resource in your province. However, because we've got that disabled right now, I've I've removed that, so that won't be uh, an issue because obviously you know that that won't work. Like it's actually impossible for us. Everything else, though, we need to start working on as soon as possible. We need to make 100 trades. That involves apparently sending caravans, buying and trading things from the market, just doing that as much as possible. Almost to the extent that I'm probably going to mark this a special interest. Because doing 100 trades seems very difficult to do. Um, seems like it actually might be one of the hardest things to do. Oh god, should we compose a book first? Or should we... No, let's pay off the loans. Let's make sure the loans are dealt with so that people don't completely hate us to start with. Um, oh god, shit. And our brothers were gavel kind, so they got the temple and the castle. Well, I'm not sure about that one. Um, he's greedy. What does he think of his family? But he's just. I don't think he'd revoke titles from his family members when the law determined that they got that. He, he's a just man. 
He would not revoke that from his... They are his vassals by law. They're not just his, his siblings, but they are his legal vassals. Even if he is greedy and ambitious, I feel like he would still... Uh, oh, what? He, he's broken free. He decided to break free. Well, that's interesting. Because this guy, and, and a lot of you were saying that yesterday I should have flipped over that marriage when we kicked that guy out. You remember our brother was married to the previous king of this round's son. So we could have got some claims of that if I'd have married them off matrilineally. To be fair, we don't really need it because these guys, they are now Buddhist. So we can just declare war to subjugate them if we get in a prestige or something like that. I forget how the system works. Um, but it'll be a long time before we're even close to doing that anyway. Okay, uh, we'll worry about that later on. Now, right now, that's not really a problem. Let's focus on getting these debts dealt with to start off with. Because poor Bonson Gummy, while he's got that debt over his head, he can't even make money. Build cost modifier is up. General opinion is down, so people are less likely to trade with him. Lost control of the market times two? What? Why times two? So our national tax modifier is down by 80%. What? Why? Did it happen again? No, surely not. That must be a uh, bug, I assume. We've got minus 80% tax right now for the next 13 years. Ooh, I don't know that that's working as intended. But hey, probably because this guy was part of the trade league and now we've started playing as him. So maybe we inherited that last one too. I'm not entirely sure how that works. First things first, lovely Gummy Bonson needs himself a lovely wife. So he's genius. Ideally, I'd love to keep genius in it. Genius or prodigy. But obviously, that's, that's, a, very big, that's, a, that's a big gamble. If we have a genius wife, chance of the next generation coming out genius is a lot, lot higher. If we go for a prodigy wife, the chance of getting either genius or prodigy are much more reduced as a result of that. Let's, we might want to gamble, but I don't really think we're in a position to be gambling. We've got no money. We've got no respect. Our tributaries have broken away. Feels like all of the work that Joris did is just sort of splintered apart somewhat. So let's, um, how do we want to do this? Let's start, let's start taking a look. So Prodigy, let's just see if it is even an option on the table. Did I set that filter or did I keep forgetting to do it? Oh, we did. Okay. It's not, it's not even an option. Okay. Well, that's made my mind up for me then. Let's go for genius. Let's not risk it right now. 13 year old Gar Budpa, she is Buddhist. Sure. Arrange marriage her to us if he'll accept it. Oh, sorry. Arrange betrothal her to us if he'll accept it. No. We'll prepare a matrilineal line. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you would, but that's not going to happen. He is a duke after all, so we're sort of um, probably barking at the wrong tree there. What about her? She's the granddaughter of a duke with no relatives in line. They might actually accept this, no problem, because this is probably the best they can do for her right now. What's she like as a person? She's got a rash, so actually the chance of them accepting the marriage is higher because she's ill. There we go. Okay, fine. It's going to be a while. It's going to be another five years before we can marry her. But she is a genius. She's not got... She's got some weird stats here. My God. Indolent and haughty are both bad. Conscientious is good. Timid is bad. But playful is good, in my opinion. So, she's going to be a weird character. But she's getting a lot of stats from it. So, I mean, why not? Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow. Money didn't make me happy. Nor did respect. He's changed his ways. Seeing what it did to his father, seeing how much it's crippled the economy now, trying to control the markets has cost them dearly, owing money lenders a debt has cost them dearly. He's turning himself around. He's rejected the poison of greed. I don't know if that's a, necessarily a good thing right now because that 10 plus 10% 10 tax was uh, keeping us afloat there. Although we're still getting 7.24 monthly balance with all of that. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We did do a lot of investing with our last character though. Okay then. Um... Grimanet, kind of irrelevant for now. Build a war chest is is very much possible. Uh, so only 300 gold if ruling a county. That would give a tax modifier plus 10%. Fine. Let's build a war chest then. That shouldn't take too long to do. It's 7 gold per month. We only need another 50 gold. So that's, that's less than a year. Okay. Um, besides that though, what else would really suit our guy? So he has... He can still do business because, of course, we've got Fortune Builder. Honestly, doing business is the best thing to do because it will help train up his skills as well. Maybe get Midas touched out of it. High demand for steel. We've got to do trades anyway to fulfill our golden bloodline. Let's do it. Let's go to market. See what we can find. This guy has the greatest offer of our, of our life. From what I recall, now our man's not greedy anymore. If he was greedy, I think he would absolutely go for it. In fact, not only is he not greedy, he's paranoid. He would absolutely not do that. So, from what I remember, there is a very, very small chance of it actually being a good deal. But it, it's a long time since we played this, so things might have changed since then. So, they're looking for steel. We want to go to the market so that we're buying. We want to buy, ideally, treasures like stone, steel, gem, silvers, gold. Sure. And we can actually buy steel. So, this is pseudo-random. From what I record, you can end up getting, like, silver, silver, silver. Or gold, gold, silver. Or any sort of permutation of that. You're not guaranteed to find steel. We got lucky this time. 40 gold. Done. Thank you. I, I think we should turn a profit from this anyway. So that's one trade done. Only another 99 more to go. Greetings, traded gummy. I can deliver that immediately, my friend. Let's... Uh, oh, also, we should definitely decorate our warehouse as well. Just get a little bit more... Get a little bit more stewardship potentially out of it. Send the steel shipment. There we go. Gain 50 gold and 100 assets. Good work. 
a good first trade for my good friend, Gummy Bonson. Because of that, we built a war chest and we can pay off a level of our debt too. So that was a real win-win there. Uh, oh, we need 350 gold. Now there is, when you repay the loan, I believe it's something like a 10% chance to be able to use your skills in business to try and talk them into a better deal. If you succeed in that, because it's only a 10% chance, I mean, we're going to take out potentially a lot of loans. If you succeed in that, you can become Midas Touched. It's another way to get up to Midas Touched. You know, obviously, arguing with banks is probably a great way to show how good you are at dealing with money, huh? Um... So it's amongst men. It's going to be very difficult. Five thousand prestige for account. I don't know if I've, I don't know if it's impossible to do that. I suppose you, you may be playing nomad or doing a lot of warfare. Um, see the round prosper seems like the most reasonable thing to do right now. Better to do it early. Get that stewardship earlier on. Get the bonuses out of it earlier on. Right. So let's go for that. Plus we get a prosperity boost. All round provinces. All one of them. Great. We're missing. Wait. Ah, ca oh, cartographer. Right. Right. Of course. There you go, my friend. And stay on standby. Um, right, so I guess we'll just wait until we've clocked up that 350 gold. Pay this off and we'll just pray that we get Midas touched. <gasps> you beautiful man. Achai, you absolutely incredible being. Okay, right, repay the loan. No, careful. Repay the loan. And then here we go. So we can find a loophole in the contract. 10% chance of getting Midas touched. Uh, which, which point we get, go, we go down from a huge debt to just an alarming debt. Well, that's nothing to worry about, besides obviously being a big thing to worry about. Still gives us build cost modifier plus 10%, still gives us general opinion minus 5. So, because of our high stewardship, we can either find a loophole or argue with the law, both of which do exactly the same thing, so I don't know why we have the option. Um, I guess we'll argue with the law? No, I think finding a loophole in the contract is a bit more... I mean, he is the law. He's just. I am the law. Find a loophole. Did we get it? No Midas touch, but hey, I mean, ooh. Oh my god, the allure of business is a strong one. But he's a just man. He's a just man, but that's 100 gold and we're in debt. Gummy Bonson, what are we going to do, my friend? He's ambitious, but he is kind. Would he deceive the people? He's honest, he's just. I can't, I can't, I cannot with the character in good mind. This is not something Gummy Bonson would do. This is not, he's, we're not that desperate right now, okay? Things have only, things are going up. Look, we're rewarded for our honesty. Another 43 gold. Thank you, my friend. This guy, and look, we're even more rewarded. I'm so glad we didn't fall to that, to the sinful vices of our father, Joris Bonson. Thank you, my friend. We're out of debt. We're not only we're out of debt, but we can actually almost pay off the next level of our loan as well. Ah, you, I remember, you were the son of my father's friend, Trashy Jr. Born to Trashy Jr. And Bonson Bjorn, named Amala, my niece. An attractive Buddhist. Welcome. Ah, uh, you'll be trained in... I mean, I don't really care. Like I said, I, I would be interested in going around the wheel with our own kids and seeing how they end up. Because we've got a des designation anyway. So we'll just always pick the best character. But it would be interesting to see what sort of personalities we actually get out of doing that as well. Amala, uh, that's a fine name. We're never going to play as you anyway. We kind of designate you as the S. It's not really relevant. Welcome to the family. How are we doing? Nine living members. Well, obviously, we've got a little bit more than that because our father was known for his dalliances. Um, <laughs> Bum. Oh, my God. I forgot that this character was a kid called Bum. Wait. Oh, you're this character's child. Right, sorry, we should be educating you. I apologize. Never ignore your bum, okay? If your bum needs educating, get right on that. So we can go to the market and we can repay the loan. I think we'll go to the market and then repay the loan so that we've got maybe a little bit of money to... Uh, maybe we could spend the money at the market. The um, market is lively and ready for business. Are we buying or selling? I guess we'll buy. Uh, maybe sit on some things. Maybe invest it into the province. Maybe, in, I mean, just keep it and sell it on later at maybe a higher price. Stones... Steel, gems, silver, gold. If we buy the steel, I believe eventually we can smith that into a weapon. If we buy the gold, we could smith it into jewellery to give us obviously a bit more respect amongst the people. I don't know what to go for. I don't know what would be a safe investment right now. Um, I mean, the people are always going to need stone and steel. So that gives text modifier plus 20%. That also gives disease resistance because, of course, steel is um, what, like anti antiseptic naturally. Um, steel is... Good to probably sit on, and of course we can do things with it in the future. It doesn't actually give too many valuable bonuses for us at all. Oh, that's nice though. Stone gives a local build time and build cost modifier minus 10% to both. You know what? Give me that. Because of our terrain influence, it's only going to cost 8 gold, I guess, because we're up in the mountains. That makes a lot of sense. And we can also find a loophole in the contract. Come on, get Midas touched. I believe in you, Gummy Bonson. Nothing. You useless shit. I'm sorry, what? Someone assassinated my fucking niece? What's wrong with you? My half-sister. She, she'll be devastated. She'll be absolutely... She's not bothered. She's absolutely not bothered. Oh, my God. There's a murder in the round. We need to find out who did it. Uh, you. Uh, Bjorn. Oh, sorry. Ba barbarian. Scheme? He already is. Scheme. Are you seriously our best spy master? It's either you or Trashy. And, I mean, Trashy is genuinely quite trash. Okay, fine. You know what? Spy Master Bonson, I need you to uncover this murder of our glorious niece and our, our dear sister's 
Wrong sister. Sorry, our dear sister. I remember you. Uh, barely, of course. Barely your name. Your daughter. Unbelievable. What, a, what type of realm do we live in where Buddhists kill Buddhists? Jetsuna might fancy us. Um, 25 learning, but besides that, can we really, can we really affect our betrothal like that? No, it's not appropriate. We'll take the karma. Onwards to the market. Once again, we can actually do this quite frequently. Let's buy some more, uh, gold, silver, or, or gold, steel, or gold. Man, this is, uh, so the epidemic influence gives us, why does epidemic influence save us a bit of gold? I have no idea. Maybe they're desperate to sell? I guess so. Um, so we can buy a hundred gold for... So we can buy gold at a slightly cheaper price than it normally would be right now. That's probably not a bad idea. Or still for the regular price. I don't really want to get us into a huge amount of debt, even though it's probably a good deal for the time being. Because the epidemic will still potentially be there. Or, I mean, chances are we're going to get more epidemics in the future. We'll buy the steel. I'm not going to assess every trade deal we do, because obviously we've got a hundred of them to do. But this is a relatively new system we haven't really explored too much of for the time being. No! My poor bum, beset by oozing legions. No! Corp for a court physician. Someone needs to come and look at my poor bum. I need more gold. Oh, God, no. He's fallen into his father's trap. Okay, uh, do we have a court physician looking at my bum? Uh, excuse me. Right, you deal with that one. Where? Who is our court physician? We don't... Wait, we don't have one? Trashy. Trashy. Come and see my bum. I need you to, to solve all of... Dritians trade a high demand for meat. Okay, right. We can deal with that as well. Thank you, my friend. Onwards to meat. Bum can wait. Meat comes first. Quarry workers ask for money in their project. They'll pay you later in stones. Um... Okay, so this is a very, very cool system. I actually really like this one. We can spend 15 gold. There's a 10% chance we get nothing. There's a 60% chance we gain one item. 20% chance of gaining two items. And 10% chance of gaining three items. And obviously, the larger investment we make, the higher the percentage of receiving more items. Major investment, 60% chance of receiving three items. It's only 30 gold. Honestly, yeah, do it. Hopefully, that counts as a trade deal. You kind of assume any uh, action with the market. I, I think the mod maker yesterday did leave a list of the things that, uh, that do affect that. But I think it's just anything to do with the market. Good. Okay, sure. Sorry, I, I completely got sidetracked about the meat and bought bought stone instead. Do you want some want some stone? Please to report everybody that my bum no longer has oozing legions. It, it, it was successful. Trashy successfully saw and sorted out my bum. Thank you. A servant comes to you in panic. There's an intruder in my warehouse, most likely after my goods. No, not my stones and steel ingots. Um, I must go. Of course he would. He would go. He's a. I think he's a paranoid man. I have nothing. No, no, no. We must find out who it is. Who, where is he? The intruders in your warehouse is a lone man. Okay, we've got minus four personal combat. So honestly, <laughs> I feel like this is maybe kind of dangerous. Who's our heir? Bum, our daughter. Our, our, our young daughter. Shit. Um, she probably does. I mean, obviously she does, but that was more about her name. Uh, <laughs> I'd be more surprised if she didn't, to be honest. Do nothing. It's too dangerous to lose two goods. We lose the ingots and the stones. No. Face the man. Catch him by surprise. 50% chance he's unarmed, 50% chance he's armed, or 67% chance we sneak up on him. I think we'd go for the sneak attack. Come on. Gummy Bonson. Do it. <gasps> you approach the man from behind. He doesn't notice you and have a clear advantage in the coming battle. Stab him from behind. Gain 100 assets. Yes. Go, Gummy Bonson. How fucking horrifying would that be? Sneaking around a warehouse. You're just there. You're a poor peasant. You're trying to steal stones of all fucking things. Imagine how poor you must be to steal stones up in the mountains. Sneaking around this warehouse. Turn around. Perfectly normal man. All eight foot and 500 pounds of him looming over you with a fucking knife. Oh, to be fair, it's a polar. It's not. It's a perfectly normal man. Probably closer to a ton. Looming over you with a goddamn knife. <laughs> I guess we succeeded. We've done it. Well done. Oh. <gasps> Speaking of succeeding, a chai, another trade expedition. So, it's been very much pointed out to me, and honestly, this is the only time I've remembered. I know this is a mechanic, but I keep fucking forgetting because I'm an idiot, dumb, dumb idiot. When we go on these trade expeditions, the opinion of the person you're trading with affects the outcome of the deal. So, it's actually, most of the time, more profitable to when you get to know where the realm you're going to, give the ruler of that realm some gold. This man is bonus to hedgehog. What is that? He's taking the hedgehog into his house. Oh! Is that really something that is true? That's cool. Um, okay. Uh, hire a crew of bandits or buy a merchant ship. He's a just man. He would never... <laughs> bandits? How dare you even suggest that? He's a kind, ambitious, honest man. We're here. Oh, we're not here. Sorry, we're going to take the... Do we want to take our half-brother? The the temple guardian of Kichu down the stairs. Um, it would be an honor to have you along with us, brother. It would be. Well, join us. Join us. Join us to foreign lands. Where are we going to go to? That's right, my friend. The foreign lands. We are going to the Tibetan Basin. Fucking hell. Oh, we're going to Tibet. Well done. We've gone from Tibet to... Incredible. P far distant foreign lands. Incredible stuff. Minus 19 opinions. So this is where we would... Oh, God. 
Um, try and sway him. Give him an artifact. No, absolutely not. I'll offer him a concubine. The glorious Togal. No. Um, I have to buy some goods. Buy your ingots. Maybe pay 100 assets. Determined by the societies. That's going to cost us a fucking fortune. Um, give him a mighty elephant. It's not looking good, is it? He's only acting in accordance with his religion. Uh, you must be stopped. Come on. Oh, that was really lucky. As you spend more time talking to the mutilator, you realize you have a lot more in common. Nothing says more in common with a mutilator than being just and honest and kind. I gained a friend and a profitable agreement. We might disagree on some things, but my god, is he a good host? Welcome. That's fantastic. We gain 184 gold. We gain 150 prestige, which is huge for our account. We gain the trade route, which isn't super relevant, I'll be honest with you. We're a trader, and we get the business contacts. And, more importantly, do we not become Midas Touch too? Uh... Am I going insane? I thought that was always guaranteed an upgrade. I feel like I am going insane. Reward him appropriately. Of course, my man did his job. And we are not... We, we, we overcame the vice of greed. Just a kind man. He would never take the money out of the... Oh, God. Speaking of which. He was stressed because he did want more gold. No, I, I still think he's... I still think he's doing a good job fighting his vices. But, of course, as he ages... As he becomes more and more desperate... Oh, nice. There we go. They did exactly what they said they were going to do. They gave us those stones. Good work. And we can invest these too and get a huge amount of reductions in, in, the, in the items we want to build. No way. Trashy Jr. Him and Bum had that in common. Beset by smallpox. Is that the end of the Trashy Dynasty? He's got a sister who we should probably try and matrilineally marry off. The line of Trashy is not yet extinguished. For there is still a flame. Marry this... Oh god. Lowborn females may not marry low, noble men matrilineally. Fuck. We're going to have to find you a husband. Uh, Promote a commander. Please. Oh my god, it's 20 gold? Okay, let's just invite some random to our court. Fuck that. I'm sorry, Trashy. You are, you are of course, the son of the mighty Trashy. Glorious friend of Joris the First. But also, can't afford that. Um, gender, men, married, no. Ruler, no. Uh, great house, also no. Because she can't, she can't marry them otherwise. Uh, welcome. My good friend, Ratnakuda. Uh, that's like a vicious type of fish, right? And then we'll also invite this fellow as well. What's his name, sorry? I honestly thought that said Shitter Varman. Uh, welcome to court, my friend. Okay, welcome, welcome. Do I have some wives for you? Uh, but so it's Trashy. Uh, how do we get to Trashy's? So it's like Bjorn's dead husband's sister. <laughs> Things are getting fucking complex in the family tree. You, I found you. Trashy's dynasty will not die. My father made a promise to Trashy, and my God, will we live up? We are an honourable man. Here you are, a glorious husband. He's diligent. He's just. He's wrathful. Okay. Well, can't win them all. Oh God, I married her off non natural. I'm sorry, Trashy, I failed you. You know what? We've got another shot. We've got Trashy's other legitimate daughter, Sogal. Trashy, what have I done? I've, I've defiled your name. We've, I've defiled your name. There we go. Okay. Trashy's daughter. The dynasty will live on. And of course, it does actually live on through Trashy Jr. Our niece. Oh, God. Bonson. Married matrilineally. Well, Trashy's memory will live on through our dynasty now. So it's not all a bad thing. Oh, interesting. Sk several skilled miners and prospectors are here. They could examine the stones in your possession to see if anything precious is hidden within them. But it would require a large amount of stones. So I guess we're cracking geodes and sort of examining them and maybe a bit more closely than just like those huge crates of rock. Ask them to give you the gems. They can keep the rest or we keep the stones. Um, I mean, the, 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 the gems aren't particularly useful, but of course they are far more valuable than the stones. So I think we are actually turning a profit with that because gems and gold, I believe, are the two most expensive trade goods. Uh, so we'll roll with that and we'll sell that because the stones it cost us 60 so we've only invested 60 gold We're getting the gems back. That seems to me like a fairly decent trade uh, Obviously, you know, we can always buy more stones if we do end up getting enough money to invest into the realm Let's go to market. That was actually by contacting the affiliated artisans by the way You can see all the various trades that we can uh, uh, that, that, that we can all the, the various crafting recipes essentially three stones for one box of gems five stones is one crate of silver ingots six stones for a crate of gold ingots Build a statue, apparently, as well. I didn't, we didn't get the option to do that, I guess, because I went for the box of gems just straight off the bat there. Yeah, you can sort of see all the various things we can do with it here, which is obviously very, very cool. One steel and one hide makes a wearable armor, one weapon and armor crates, which is kind of nice. Let's head for the market. This guy... What? You have to sell him the gems for 60... Is this the, the gems or the steel he wants? Or the stones? Uh, wait, we didn't even get any fucking gems. Oh, I think we have to wait a while, and then they contact us and say, yeah, here's your gems. Um, what do you want? What do we lose? That's a... It's just you have to sell him this. I want to know what we're selling him. Should I just try, try, risk it? Risk it. Oh, it's the stones. That was a great deal. Hey, 
Well, I mean, we, we, we paid for, like, what, three lots of stones, and we've ended up turning a massive profit from that. Good work. All right, uh, you can marry. We're going to marry our wife. Of course, she's very good. We, we actually get prestige from that because she's the relative of a duke there. Good work. 50 gold or 50 prestige. We'll take the gold. Thank you. We are still part of the trade league. Even if we're not greedy, that doesn't mean that we can't... Hey, there we go. Good work. My god, we really have done a pretty decent job of the trading this time. <gasps> Grand Tower. Oh my god, we can name it in honor of Joris. The Tower of Joris. Joris's Tower. We'll name it Joris's... I don't know. Something to do with Joris, I'm sure. This will be glorious. Actually, thank god we made that trade because this is going to be very expensive. I know a craftsman that has the skill lose 106 gold. Doubters will be proven wrong. This man is impressed. Our other brother, the leader of the temple, is going to be uh, pretty pissed off at us here. Um, Gelpo comes to you and about, asks about your complaints. So what is he? He's diligent. He's quick. Okay, fair enough. Uh, about what hard and tiresome work it is to plan out and carve the stones for the tower. He is chasing women out of court. You're just using the money on your lustful adventures. I hope it doesn't affect the tower at all if I say fuck off with this. Because I honestly don't really know this event too much in detail, like behind the scenes. Oh, my father's uh, concubine there died. Not that it's really much of it. It wasn't like our mother or anything. No, not really a problem. Before the construction of this large core of this, oh, of a building this large, I thought it said of a large can begin. We need to make sure we have enough high quality stone. We can build a quarry, which gives us, I, honestly, I, th I think it's incredible. So it's 80 years of minus 20% build time, minus 25% build cost. I believe there is a random event whereby the stone quarry can just run out of stone. We're up in the Himalayas, so I'm going to say I doubt that. Um, there's a lot of mountains in the Himalayas. Funny, I'm pretty, pretty, quite a huge amount of stone there. Build a quarry. It's going to cost us 321 gold, but... 80 years of minus 25% build cost. It should pay for itself in no time. Let's do it. During the construction of the Grand Tower in Barrow, a couple of the workers were killed. Compensate the families. We're just, we're kind, we're honest. Compensate them. Absolutely, these people will make sure that they they are known for their sacrifices for the glorious Joris Tower. Greetings, Master Gummy. <laughs> Greetings, Master Gummy. Call me that. No more Mr. Streamer. Only Master Gummy now. I'm in ecstatic mood as I write. I'm going to rename the channel to just Master Gummy's Wacky Adventures. Oh my god. He was called Joris Bonson and I never once called it Jobo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm so fucking annoyed at myself. Uh, what, sorry, what do you want? Uh, I was able to score the greatest. Oh, so he's gullible. He's a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, this is the gold powder. 37 gold in exchange for a sack of grain. Um, he's trying to deceive us. No, no, let's not do it. Absolutely not. Uh, we're stressed out because our apprentice is shitty and he, we're already stressed out, so it doesn't make any difference. He's trusting because he's just a bit of a fool, really. Oh, nice. We, we found some extra little wealth there by just being, I guess, good at bookkeeping. 21.5 gold on top. This guy, ah, oh, Bonson Barbarian wants to buy a small plot of land for 150 gold. Castle tax minus 50% is actually quite significant. It's 150 gold. 10 years, we get minus 50% tax. I mean, we can crunch the numbers quite easily there. So that's going to be 200 gold. It's not going to be worth it. We're going to miss out on 50 gold. It's, it's essentially 20 times 10, right? Uh, there's not enough gold in your pockets to buy my land. That's not including certain other modifiers. It's just it's just not worth it mathematically. Come on. Build the Tower of Joris. Well, I, I must see. His memory must be preserved. We saw the Round Prosper. Good work. Let's groom an heir. We have a wife now. Now, it's time. this has all worked out very, very perfectly. The timing's on this has been incredible. Been in debt for quite a while. We've been in debt for a while. We're building the Grand Tower. It wouldn't hurt to get a couple of extra coins here. We're not doing it for us. We're not doing it for us. We're doing it for our glorious father, Joris. Just a couple of extra coins. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's not gonna hurt. We're still we're still honourable. And besides, this money would just get it would just get lost with counted in bureaucracy. Just take a little bit of. Oh no, he's turning into his father already. He was able to stave it off for a few years, but my God, it's come back. It has come back. And this guy. Oh no, more money. I mean, I'm saying, oh no, but oh, to fucking take it. This is good. The great tower you began planning so long ago has finally been finished. The tower this tall can be seen from a long way away and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power you have displayed by accomplishing such a grand feat of construction. During the years of work, I think it took about six months, you have spent your time perfecting your knowledge with many key aspects of science of construction, knowledge that will last centuries. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. Do we want to become an architect? We did it all in the name of the glorious Joris. Joris Tower is complete. We are an architect now, team. We also get great work and build to modify us. Oh my god, and the artisan workshop paid off too. You know what? People might chastise us for being greedy. Buddha himself might be very disappointed in us, but my god, it's, you can't deny it. It is working for the realm. Maybe this was the right decision. 
Oh, another one we haven't yet to do. Uh, oh, it, oh, it's more more miners asking for for money. Okay, so there's a sixty percent chance we get three. This is very risky. It's two hundred one gold. Sixty percent chance of receiving three crates of silver. Silver is one of the most valuable resources. Um, I feel like the middle one is the safest bet, right? But I'm I think let's go crazy with it. Let's go crazy with it. Sixty percent chance in our favor of getting that because we have the just trait. We become an even more just ruler. We are greedy though. This is where I think it's really down to us to pick whichever would suit the scenario. Because both of these suit his personality. Which is why he has the options. Um, we can take Just and get a bit more diplomacy. Or we gain 5.6 gold. I think Gummy would not betray his morals. He would not sort of turn his back on justice and honesty and kindness just for... Uh, he knows the true value of gold and it is not in piglets. Give the, give the neighbor. Give, give the fucking neighbor some, huh? Ah! She's already very fond of me. I thought we better start swaying her because as a perfectly normal man, she's probably not too convinced that he, it, she should help him have a child. Um, in fact, she's probably fairly intimidated. So I thought, you know what? Let's, let's show her that we're a nice, kind guy. You know, we're literally a nice, kind guy here. Uh, but turns out, actually, she likes us more than I thought. She likes us more than I thought. Uh, no, we'll, we'll maintain a friendship for a while. Let's get to know her a little bit. Oh? Sorry? So the king of Cam, King Cam, wants to marry... My half-sister Bjorn, Trashy's ex-wife. Done? What, you're 12? She's fucking 31. <laughs> okay. He's heard rumors of the beauty of the glorious Bjorn Bonson. And how fantastic and normal she is. And how much she would love to... He's a furry. I'm going to say it. I'm going to... He's a furry. He's... I mean, it's... No. To the rapacious jester Gummy. May humans rot your living body. This is a formal declaration of war... Our armies will meet on the battlefield. Truly a shameful display. Vassalization war. Okay. It's not a conquest. It's not a conquest. If he wins, we just be his vassal. There may be ways to assimilate the round from the inside. Do we have enough money to stop this man? He has 5,000 men. We have 1,000 men. To hire 4,000 men would set us back 266 gold and we'd only be able to hire them for a month. We would have to take out more loans. We have yet to pay off our previous loans. We still have... Oh, let's pick up a money line to start off with. I feel like you would definitely do that. Stewardship plus one line, plus one church. Dislikes it a little bit. 25 Marshall, though. I'm oh, sorry, 25 Stewardship. We're not even Midas touched yet. Um, what's our... We owe money lenders a debt. Okay, so it's actually not as bad as I thought. We're only at level two of the debt. Wow. This is this is tricky. This is very, very tricky. Um, I almost want to sell this silver and this, uh, so we need to buy a stall, ideally, sell off this silver and this gems. Also, investor, obviously, and be able to sell it off as well. If we send that, we'll gain a little bit of gold. Send gems as well. Oh, steel ingots, we get, because we're at war, we'll actually sell for a higher price right now. And it gives us bonus to attack and defense. Will that affect mercenaries? Almost certainly not, because tech points don't affect mercenaries, but let's do it. The people need the steel. Send them the steel. We are a just ruler. The gems, though, um... I assume we lose a little bit of gold there because of the war influence. I, I don't know if that's cut off or whether it's just an inopportune time to send it. We wouldn't actually get a lot of money for the gems. I suppose it's not necessarily precious gems. It could just be fucking like quartz and garbage like that. Okay, maybe now's not the best time for that. But we're obviously going to try and fight for our sovereignty. Because if we win, he has to pay reparations. You know what Gummy likes? He doesn't. Oh, wait, he does. 278 gold. Gummy likes gold. And to be honest, the mercenaries will probably pay for themselves even if we take out a loan. Okay, let's think about this. I actually didn't realize that we are... Oh, quite a long way through recording here. So let's not get mired in a big old war and run this up to like a 50 minute episode, huh? Let's plan this out. Gummy needs to come in with the war council. In brackets, YouTube comment section, please help. We'll take out some loans. Even if we take out a single loan, it'll pay for itself assuming we win the war. That's fine. Taking out more loans, that's still not a big deal. 300 gold we might be expending to keep our... I mean, technically we're spending all of it. Let's not look at it like that. But 300 gold over what we have anyway. Might not be so bad either, because it's ensuring our stability of our realm. So, I think we could be up for it. I think we could be up for it. it, would, it would, we'd equal out to zero. We've even taken out another loan too. Lo emptying the treasury to ensure our sovereignty and our independence. And not only that, these guys turn against us. Keep the mercenaries raised and go in for round two. Take them on as a tributary. Maybe even. Can we even subjugate them? I forget the, the means of being able to subjugate them. I thought it was just of your religion type. Maybe Buddhist can't or something like that. I don't entirely know. But thank you for watching. We'll leave that one here. for. Oh, we got to choose a religious branch. Shit. Let me, let me do that right now before I forget. Um, No, no, no. I want to take religious branch. No, I don't want to do that. I wanted to 
Well, it doesn't matter. I wanted to pick an actual branch of Buddhism, but it's not a big deal. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I think this has been interesting. We built the Grand Tower of Joris. His memory lives on in our memory always and forever. Trashy, deji, Joris. They're up there in Buddhist heaven, wherever that is. Unless he's been reincarnated as a slug, which, let's be honest, probably kind of lightly, huh? Big thank you to the patrons who will always reach enlightenment. Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Facundo Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Grapple, Nat Buscus, 911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilum, Pelvis Pesley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok, Swain, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backus, and William Green. Thank you for your support and your sanity lovers on Patreon. Thanks for making the channel possible. Thanks for letting me spend many hours modding and, and pissing around with CK2. And obviously, of course, outside of that, recording and making the episodes. Which does take many hours of my day. Without these guys, we wouldn't be able to do any of it. Big shout out to the Twitch subs as well. It's been a long time since I've given those guys a shout out. I am going to try streaming on Twitch again very, very soon. Internet's been a bit spotty again lately. Like yesterday, I literally didn't have internet all fucking day. So... It's not like, you know, it's just the area I live in, unfortunately. We're smack bang in the middle of the city and there's fucking one internet provider that serves about 15,000 people. So, I've said that as a joke, but actually it's probably close to like 100,000 people. It's fucking rid ridiculous. Thank you as well to Asaro, Alan Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Esper Smets, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, The Connie 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brandon, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo Gray, Haji Dumar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Ice of the Grey, Irish, Ida, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luke Wallace, Llewellyn Thomas, Mustolp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Ganimal, Pan Sammy, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Peyton Dennis Art, Rodrigo, Rush Nolgaard, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Smirkworm, Socrates, Super Nano 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Volonkiri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Def, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow.